Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their true intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and not every reading will resonate for you. All right, Virgo, let's get into it. For Virgo, please, Spirit. What do they need to know and love? Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. Okay, Prince of Cups Reverse. That's the Knight of Cups Reverse. That's, I don't like that knight. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo, I don't like them. They tend to just say what they need to say to get what they want. I don't like that energy. Ten of Wands, Hangman. Some sort of burden here needs to be dropped or someone's at the finish line of something. Someone's been working on something that I feel like they saw clearly here or are seeing in a new perspective. Um, someone is kind of uh, ready to, to drop this. The Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy, Ten of Cups. This could have to do with a family or just something to do with emotional fulfillment. But the Ten of Cups to me is typically a card for uh, partners and children. Now with the Chariot Reverse, someone needs to um, go in a completely new direction or they've been completely uh, stuck or unable to move wherever they are um a huge blockage there with the chariot reverse then we have the high priestess reverse my goodness this is all about a secret that is being revealed something coming to light something being spoken for the first time or something that hasn't been spoken about in a long time someone's ready to open up here or something's coming out with the high priestess reversed and i think it's due to this new perspective that someone has or a, a new angle that they're seeing here bottom of the deck three of pentacles reversed something's just not working out here somebody is putting in work and the other person isn't or both of them don't want to work on it anymore um, this could also be a third party energy here or some sort of interference so it could be um, it could be another person yes but it doesn't have to be it could be distance finances someone who um, works too much, uh, family members, friends, fill in the blank. So I feel like that tells, that's one of the reasons things are not working out. All right, Virgo, let's clarify these. We're using the Radiant Wise Spirit deck right now. I've been using it for personal readings and I love it. So I'm using them for all of these readings. It's just hard to shuffle for me, so bear with me. <laughs> all right, Knight of Cups. Let's see what this Knight of Cups is all about here. It's reverse. Why is this Knight of Cups reverse here, Spirit, for Virgo? Thank you. Something here is not balanced. Not. Please excuse my nails, by the way. I am make. I am getting to a nail salon sometime. Sometime. It has to happen. Because I've been doing my nails myself and it's that's always a mess. Okay, so Six of Pentacles reverse. So there's uh, an uneven exchange here. Um, one person, again, putting in more effort than the other. Someone actually uh, wanting this and the other person isn't as into it, for example. It's just not balanced here. What else can you tell me about this Knight of Cups reverse? Four of Cups. So someone is not happy, not content, felt like they probably lost an opportunity and so now nothing interests them. Um, someone here is emotionally checked out as well. And as I said that, there's the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is um, not an emotional person. <laughs> the opposite, actually. This Queen of Swords, I feel like she's cutting down this Knight of Cups reverse. It's like, you, t you tell me a lot of nice things, but I see right through you. You tell me a lot of words, but I don't see any actions. I'm seeing right through that BS. I'm drawing boundaries. This isn't working out. This isn't, this isn't balanced or fair to me. Um, I'm not happy. 
I'm not satisfied. This is a uh, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This Queen of Swords is ready to cut down whatever gets in her way. She's very cold, but only because she's been through so much. And now she doesn't have the patience. I feel like this is someone that's ready, like almost fed up here with this Knight of Cups reverse. This could be you, Virgo, or it could be someone you're dealing with. Bottom of the deck, death reversed, Scorpio energy. This is someone who's resisting change, resisting an end. This Queen of Swords could be like this because she doesn't want something to end or something to change. Interesting. What's behind that? Two of Cups. What? So this Queen of Swords doesn't want her relationship to change? Even though there's, there's no stability here with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. And there's another Knight, Knight of Wands. Okay, let's, let's clarify more because now I'm very curious. Tell me about this Ten of Wands for Virgo. Oh, we got the Devil. Capricorn energy here. That burden that needs to be dropped is because it's toxic. It's not healthy. It's um, There's an unhealthy attachment here. Tell me more. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Three of Swords. The Fool. What were these? I'm not going to take them, but I'm curious. Page of Wands, Knight of Swords. Communication. Quick communication. This burden is very painful. We have another three here with the Three of Swords. Someone wants to take a risk, a leap of faith, break free from this. This is a new beginning with the Fool. And I'm pretty sure this new beginning is not to go and jump into something unhealthy. So that's why I'm taking it as a new beginning out of It's almost like there's someone's waiting to drop this burden and then be free and baggage, like have no more baggage, nothing tying them down. Aries energy there with the fool. Tell me about the hangman. Reverse. No, it's not reverse. It just looks reverse. Tell me about the hangman. Okay. So we got here the four of um, wands reversed and the five of pentacles reversed. No harmony in the home. Um, someone, I feel like, wants to come out of the struggle. I feel like this this relationship has not had a lot of warmth. There could be emotional distance. Um, and it's causing uh, a lack of harmony. The home, the, something in the home is not good, not happy here. Nine of cups and the wheel of fortune. Interesting. You have the nine of cups and the wheel of fortune here. Wish fulfillment, emotional satisfaction, and a big change. I feel like this, this hangman, um, Someone is looking at something from a different perspective that has to do with a lack of harmony in their home. Um, a str like they're seeing that they've always struggled, that, that, it's, that it's always been cold, that it's always been really difficult. And now they want to change, a change their circumstance, go after what makes them happy, what, what fulfills them emotionally. Wow, bottom of the deck, hermit energy. There you are, Virgo. This is someone who's literally running away, <laughs> wanting to avoid being completely withdrawn. I feel like I'm seeing this as someone, if, if this person, if, it's, if this is you, Virgo, and you are with someone right now in an unhappy partnership, there is no closeness at all with this person. There's a huge divide between you to the point where like it feels like you're on different planets you know that's how that's what i'm reading here with this hermit reversed behind that queen of pentacles reverse something here is is just not stable all right so let's keep going tell me about this chariot reverse cancer energy here why is the chariot reverse? Okay, movement. 
Eight of Wands could be communication as well. Communication's coming in. This cherry of reverse could also be that someone's been forced or is choosing a brand new direction. Like they're literally stopping and going in a whole different direction. Yep, Ten of Swords. Someone here is going to communicate that they want to stop and end things. They want to get off the car, like get off the boat, get off the train, you know? Tell me more. Well, oh my gosh, the hermit reverse fell out on the floor. I'm going to put it back though. Okay, tell me about the chariot reverse, please. Chariot reverse, please. Six of Wands reverse. So there's no success here. No recognition. Um, this could also be someone that cared too much what people thought of them and it and it burned them. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that's definitely going after what they want. They might be communicating this to someone um, or they're just moving. Like they literally want to stop the car, get out and like run away. And have an ending here. We got two tens so far. Tell me about the ten of cups. Where's the ten of cups here? Thank you. Wow. All right, so we got the ten of pentacles reversed, and the ten of nope, page of swords reversed. Page of, page of swords reverse is deception. Someone not telling you the whole truth, someone twisting the truth, withholding things um, as well. Miscommunication of some sort. Ten of Pentacles reverse. That is a very a commitment that's completely fractured um, on sh uh, shifty ground. It's not stable. There's no security. Some there's been a loss. Could be excuse me. Could be financial. This could have to do with a family unit. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups, please. For Virgo. Yeah. Someone's walking away from, from their their commitment. Because it's not real. The, the, this is unhealthy. This is a burden. This is painful. They're tired of the lies. They're tired of the BS. Look at this. Ten of uh, Wands right at the bottom. Someone's over this burden. And look, Ace of Wands, because it never, it never took off. It never was successful. They were never able to manifest something. Yeah, and um, there's never been security, stability here. Just fights, arguments, deception. Someone's speaking up about something here that with the High Priestess reverse. Tell me about this High Priestess reverse. What are they going to be speaking up about? With the high priestess reverse. What's this high priestess reversed about? Chariot again. Someone's gonna basically be like, I've been planning this for a while, I'm leaving. Could be um, someone literally moving away, someone traveling to see someone else, someone just on a new new path. Five of Swords came out again. Um, this could also be uh, the deception that came out as well. Deception that was revealed. Tell me more about this High Priestess Reverse. Oh my gosh, High Priestess Reverse again. Okay, <laughs> can I get one more? Someone's moving away from this. That's what I see. Page of Pentacles reverse. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles reverse. And behind that, there's you again, Hermit reverse. So, let me shuffle, hang on. Someone here, I want one more for this High Priestess Reverse. Hang on. I want a little bit more clarity for Virgo. 
one actually. I don't know why I want to shuffle so much, but I do. Okay, that's good. Tell me more about this High Priestess Reverse, please. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? For this High Priestess Reverse. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles upright. Someone's going to um, detach themselves. Be free. Bottom of the deck, Page of Cups Reverse. Page of Pentacles Reverse. There was no... Um, just disappointment here there was no the commitment was always flimsy um the, this page of pentacles reverse they tend to be lazy uh they don't want to work on things they want the easy way out they are not um they're not reliable because they give up on things that they start etc um i feel like there's been some sort of the secret here, or whatever is being spoken up about that has been kept secret, has to do with someone here being free. They're moving away, they're becoming single, they're leaving this behind. I feel like this is going to cause some sort of a fight, or an argument, or someone here, um, they're going to be upset that they lost something. But this person doesn't care. Like, they're already gone mentally. This person's already gone. Hopefully that's you, Virgo, and not someone you're dealing with. It could also be that the person you're interested in, they could be in a commitment right now, and they want to leave that commitment and be free. They want to change. Because wherever they've been at, it's been emotionally unfulfilling. You see? They've had some clarity about this. They're evaluating the past, uh, two of cups behind that otherwise i'll leave it here virgo thank you so much for checking out this reading i hope it resonated with you if it did please leave me a comment and let me know i love to hear from you um thank you again everyone who has liked shared subscribed commented i read all of your comments thank you so much and i hope to see you in another video take care